This week, Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick held an all-hands meeting, probably his last, before the company is absorbed. And here's the crazy thing about this. The meeting was hosted by James Corden, the charmless failed talk show host. They paid him to do that. Can you imagine having to go to this non-optional meeting to witness James Corden, the worst part of Cats, interviewing Bobby Kotick about controlling video games with your brain? Look, I have not once been grateful that Microsoft is buying Activision Blizzard. But... James Corden. This week, Sony unveiled the new look for the PlayStation 5. And there's no reason to keep you in suspense. Here it is. Same immersive power. New, slimmer size. This is an exciting moment in any PlayStation's life. It happens to all of them. At some point, every PlayStation does get a newer, sleeker, slimmer version. And it's important to keep in mind that you're not looking at an alternative product, like an iPad mini or an Xbox Series S. What you're looking at is the new PlayStation 5. So it's not necessarily big news because, one, we already should have expected it. Two, it's been rumored since last year. And three, not even Sony treated this like a big announcement. It's a relatively low-key reveal, considering that weird 55-second CG promo they made a couple of months ago for the Deep Earth collection of plates and controllers. I remember watching this. It's actually just, it's nice to look at. Like, I think this is art. But, like, what are you doing here? Why all this effort for shells? It's advertising entirely superfluous new colors for things you already own. The market is premium spenders. And I'll think about it. If Sony doesn't invest enough into this one advertisement, the premium spenders might not realize it's a premium product worthy of their premium collection. For the slimmer PS5, the statement they made this week isn't, oh, I bet you want one of these now, don't you? It's... Here's the relevant information. Here's what we're up to. Here's how much it costs. But really, the primary reason any of these changes are happening is not to address the evolving needs of players. It's that, as usual, it's just cheaper to manufacture. Same immersive power. Same price for you. Sweet savings for us. And not even same price. The PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is increasing in price. The current model has 825 gigabytes of storage and costs 400 US dollars. The new slimmer PS5 Digital Edition has one terabyte of storage and costs 450 GD US dollars. That's premium. And by the way, no, I don't like rattling off numbers like that. I don't think it makes a good video, but I feel like you have to do it's like a responsibility if you're making a video. I'm not trying to sell you these things. I promise. Another element of the design that stands out to me is that I would say more than any other PlayStation 2 or 3 or 4, more than any other PlayStation, this particular slimmer PlayStation 5 looks so much better standing up compared to lying down. The original PlayStation 5 comes with this Mighty Morphin stand that serves the purpose of both horizontal and vertical. The slimmer PlayStation 5 comes with this nice translucent plastic peg for horizontal mode and the option to purchase this 30 US dollar vertical stand if you want it to look nice. I think the vast majority of PlayStation 5 owners probably keep their consoles horizontal. Many of them probably don't even have a choice. So it's the way most people will see this thing, yet marketing and packaging and the human eye all agree that it looks a lot better standing up. So, if you care about that kind of thing, pay the premium. Oh, and don't worry, premium customers, the Deep Earth collection plates will be coming to the slimmer PS5 early 2024. You can be slim and flashy. And while we're talking about objectively better aesthetics, I think we should talk about the obvious thing. 
While I think it's nice they maintained the old naming convention to say, this one is the regular PlayStation 5, and this one is the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Honestly, the regular one looks even weirder now. Previously, that disk drive was... I don't know, it kind of looked like part of the curve. You could kind of say it looked intentional. Now that part looks like... a stiff mutation. Doesn't matter what you name it, side by side, it's clearly the unappealing weird one. And here's the cool gimmick, with the new slimmer PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, you have the option of buying the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive for 80 US dollars. And your PlayStation 5 Digital Edition can finally fulfill its destiny of becoming a PlayStation 5. It's like a butterfly becoming a mosquito. I will say that I'm surprised by how neat and clicky the actual disk drive add-on appears to be. Back when we first talked about this, this is what I said. There is no way that this detachable disk drive just naturally fits in, naturally makes the console look better. It complete, in fact. It looks weird without, there's no possible way. So I do think that's mostly because Tom Henderson's original reporting stated that uh, the detachable disk drive will be connected to the PlayStation 5 using an extra USB-C port on the back of the console. So I imagined the whole thing wrong. I was thinking of some wiry dongle Bane tube kind of thing. So if I could say one nice thing about the slimmer PlayStation 5, it's that that particular component is more naturally integrated than I thought it would be. But, I mean, we're all looking at the same thing here. And that's actually something I like about this kind of discussion, is that you can form your own opinion. And it's right. You know, it's, it's like when I'm watching Making the Cut, and the judges are saying, this is spectacular, this is genius, this is groundbreaking. I think, oh, they must be right about this. I have to trust them on that. But when I'm watching Lego Masters, and the judges say, yup, this is the best cat house, no question. I'm screaming out loud, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's not one of the top three cat houses. What I mean to say is that you, the viewer, you don't need any previous knowledge or experience. You are already qualified to judge the appearance of the slimmer PlayStation 5. So, what do you think? That's wrong. As for me, personally, I don't plan to ever buy this product and I don't care about it. I'll probably never touch one in my entire life. And I think what's kind of funny about this scenario in particular is that within one year, the slimmer PlayStation 5 is already going to look stupid and old. Because, of course, we'll be looking at the PlayStation 5 Pro. And we already know that thing is going to look so cool and it is going to fit in all of our entertainment centers perfectly. And so the best visual upgrade of the week goes to the subtle mysterious change in key art for Princess Peach Showtime. Nintendo, I'm not sure why you decided to do that now, but uh, it's nice. And that's delayed input for this week. Thanks for watching. So I was thinking about this premium Xbox 360 Mega Block set that came out last month. And apparently Mega Blocks is just called Mega now, but Google Mega Blocks. They know what they are. So where Mega Blocks as a brand obviously blatantly only exists because of Lego, that Xbox 360 set blatantly obviously only exists because of this sweet NES Lego set. And yeah, you build a little NES, but you also build this TV where if you crank this, Mario's jumping around the first level of the game. With this Xbox 360 set, you, you build the console in this awful looking little controller, and it comes with this little Halo 3 box. Again, we're all looking at the same thing here. You see what I see. But I was watching this video where the designer was explaining the process behind this expensive piece of shit that he created. And then there's this troubling moment 
this absolute spine-tingling chill when it becomes cool. Watch this part. Take the disc and put it in its tray and it lights up the hidden Cortana inside. There's a few easter egg hidden sets. One of them is the Cortana chip that goes inside of Master Chief Helmet. I think that's neat. So let me be clear here, you should never display the Megablox Xbox 360. Your guests and you should never have to look at it. But I do think it succeeds in being a cool toy, which is really the primary purpose. So maybe, hear me out on this, maybe it's what's on the inside that counts. I don't know. What do you think, Nintendo? Got it.